All right, everybody, Baron here, and yes, it's time for Swarm Queen. Now, after beating the campaign, we moved on to the challenges here, and some of them are absolutely insane. You could have an insane amount of nukes firing, but this one sounds very challenging. Can we beat the enemy Swarm Queen when we have less health and we're poisoned? See, look at this. Our health bar is slowly deteriorating. The enemy's gonna have less harvesters and the queen has less health. So my thought was, let's just get out there kind of early with some of our bladelings here. I'm gonna send one out now. So we got Wormy on our side here and hopefully my reinforcements will come soon enough. But oh my God, they're, they're pumping them out. They have the recipe down. Ha ha, I flipped the script on you there. I've got my warriors out earlier. And to make sure that we win this, we're gonna throw our neurotoxin a little bit earlier. So the bee is, oh, the bee is not helping us any. So I'm thinking what we need to do is just put a full court press on. They've got less harvesters. Let's fire a little bit of neurotoxin, allow our soldiers to catch up. But I think what we're gonna need to do is invest in flyers early. They're gonna cost $50. It is definitely going to be an investment. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to win this one. When the enemy... Do we nuke? Because we need B on our side. I don't know how to do this. We're supposed to win fast, and that's never been my thing. Yeah, see, look, they already have spitters. What are you talking about? The enemy's got less health. I guess Wormy's gonna have to be the way to do it. We have to hold the middle ground. But we're doing a pretty good job here, I think, right now. We're just maintaining the pressure. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's definitely how we're gonna do it. We just need to make sure Wormy is on our side. What is going on? How do they have- they have the full assortment of enemies going on right now? They got everything? Well, I guess we could always do this. Let's nuke them. I mean, they invested in a strong army. Oh, and then they counter nuke. All right, all right. Well, who's the first one out? Oh, and then of course they got the shooters. All right, this is working though. It's definitely working. And now we've got the shooters. I don't know what they're investing in, but we're actually hacking up some of their little harvesters. And I, I thought that wasn't how it worked. I thought you immediately went into the base. I guess they attack. Nice new brush, bro. It's not a new brush if you're not a noob. Well, all right. They may have poisoned us, but you know what? Not a big deal. We were still able to achieve a victory, but we lost more minions than the enemy. We didn't get the three stars. The enemy queen gets extra nectar, but the enemy gets hurt when its minions die, but nothing else can hurt the enemy. All right, so this is proving to be a very interesting set of challenges. I have extra, nothing, extra nectar and nothing can hurt me. <laughs> that sounds like a bad day for us. No, that's literally the only way to damage me is we just need to win. I know I've read the level description. I love the commentary, it's so funny. I'd love to see an update to this game that adds more units in different things, like a different game mode. Like we have the campaign and we have the challenges, right? All right, so at this point we're doing the, the classic, let's get some harvesters. Let's see what's going on over in the enemy base. And now we get our first bladelings and I'd love to pump out two of them. There we go. That's exactly what I get to do. So B boy is gonna attack me. Um, I really just don't need the bee attacking me, but it won't do anything against them. I still want to control the midpoint, so I guess nothing's new there. So we're gonna go ahead and send out two. Now, wait a minute. If there's no- okay, they are sending bladelings out. I was gonna say, if there's no bladelings, how are we supposed to, like, kind of turn the tide here? And obviously, we're gonna use the neurotoxin early. They've got- what? That is just a steady, steady push of enemies. And I've only got a few on the field right now. All right, look at this just giant stack there. We're gonna try to delay them as long as possible with the bee. The wormy's turned against us already. Wormy, I thought we were friends. We went to the cheeseburger factory together. We had a grand old time. You ate 12 cheeseburgers and now he's turning on me. Fire the neurotoxin. I wish, I wish there was like some kind of like an evolutionary system in this game where you could like create your own uh, units or something insane like that. Oh my God. They've already leveled up. I tell you what, these challenges are challenging. I'm gonna upgrade my units. I see you've upgraded your harvesters. That's fine, that's fine. But I'm upgrading mine to skitter bugs. All right, this is, <laughs> this is not looking very good. This is definitely not looking very good. Can we turn the tide of battle? What is this? Like, the AI is 118 times harder than they usually are. But remember that, you know, quantity may have a quality all its own, but quality has a quality all its own. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, right here, is putting much better units against their weaker units. And then what I'm gonna try to do is totally skip 
and go straight for bombers. I'm gonna have the superior tanks, and I want aerial domination on the field. Look at this. I, I don't have that many, but yeah, I'm killing everything on the enemy team. And fire! The support artillery. And then here we go, we're gonna get our first bomber in the field. Oh, they've got some air units, so I guess it would be wise for me to have anti-air units out there. Oh my god, yeah, that, that is a, that is an insane amount. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna nuke now. Nuke him! Don't nuke that guy! Ooh, he's still alive! Yeah! Now we're gonna pump out three bombers before they can counter it. <laughs> it feels dirty. Bombs away! I love these units. They're so great. So the bombers are doing their thing. Go ahead and just Neurotoxin them. Oh man, they- Oh no, they're nuking. No, you nuked my bombers, you rude man. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, this is- This is kind of, uh, turning against us in a way. But, we did know this would be a challenge. It is, quote, a challenge level after all. Ah, uh, I see where we've fallen behind is the economy. <laughs> Look at this, man! Oh my gosh. Good lord! The amount of enemies on the battlefield is unearthly. I think normally in these kinds of games, like, I usually focus on the economy, but this time, I, I don't know, man. I didn't really. All right, here we go. My economy is going to be upgraded to the next level, so after each one of these guys goes in, you'll notice that they come out with a few more spikes this time. Let's go ahead and neurotoxin these guys, take out as many as we can. And now we've bought ourselves a little bit of time. They have tons of shooters. And look, the bees usually been on my side. Oh my god, they're really... They're really doing all-out push right here. As long as B's on my side, I think we might just win from that because look at how much they're, what, down to 10, 20%, something like that? That's probably why they're pushing so hard right now. The neurotoxins are really the only thing that seems to be keeping me in the game at this moment. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta fire it. We gotta fire it. Send out the minions. Control the bees. We're gonna have to wait 10 seconds for your neurotoxin. This is like... The critical moment. Your minions are OP? Well, I mean, I tell you what, they've gotta be. You, you, you're just pumping out enemy units. I think the only thing we can do is now we've gotta upgrade our guys a little bit further. Very strong against clumps of weak minions. Yeah, we would like that. Uh-oh. He's got next level units. And he's got big, big heavy flyers. There we go. Anti-aircraft fire! Oh my god, we beat it with the bees, man! The bees! That was glorious! I'm kinda curious to see what happens. The enemy regularly fires nukes. Now, how often is regularly firing? How often do these nukes get fired? We need to do- we need to test this out for science. Hey, do you remember level 21? Oh god, level 21 was just like, gave me, I don't know, diabetes maybe or something like that. It was just, there were so many nukes, it was- it was bad. Now the enemy's taunting me by saying he's got even more nukes. Well, I guess we're gonna want to put out early units. Whatever is the fastest unit is the one we're gonna want to use and invest in. We're getting a lot- money's coming in really quickly. So then what I'm gonna do is save up for air units and just go straight for bombers, I think. If he's gonna keep pumping, you know. Oh, there's the first nuke. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. We're just gonna send all the flyers out we can. All right, let's upgrade. Oh, there's a nuke. We we'll get bombers, and here we go. We're sending out a pretty big wave of, uh, aerial targets, and he's got nothing to counter them right now. So yeah, investing in economy and tech is the way to go, because you know they're gonna nuke. So we'll get our economy up and then- oh, I forgot. Yeah, see, there's a nuke. So these guys, the mega bomber, that's what we want to use. Oh, I just realized you need ground units to control the bee. Well, that's problematic. There's another nuke! Oh my gosh! Man, he died right when he got to Wormy. Oh man, come on, dude. We gotta- you gotta- you gotta be out there fighting me. You gotta help us out. And then builders take a long time to, uh, use. And I've only got one nuke. I'm wondering when I want to use it. I'm gonna save up money here. I think I want bombers and mega bombers. Oh wait, if you're gonna nuke yourself, I guess that helps out. Dude, look at this though. I mean, this feels like it's Thermopylae. It's alien Thermopylae. And then they nuke it. And then they immediately push- oh yeah, I guess they're upgrading these guys. Yikes! I'm gonna nuke. Oh my god, I nuked right when he did. We wasted our nuke. We definitely wasted our nuke. That sucks so bad. We need to retake Wormy real fast. There we go. Okay, so these are definitely turning the tide, so let's upgrade them. Let's just reinvest. Oh, they got the big boys. I guess getting the big aerial units would be good, right? 
going all air. I mean, with everything getting nukes like it does. Ooh, the bigger they are, the more they survive. I just realized we, we're not going to have anything to go anti-air. Because I invested all in... Oh, uh, well, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, so this was a miscalculation on my part. Whoopsies! Oh, there was a nuke that just went off. But we got the big boys out here, so we're gonna, what, suppress them with just the motherships? Maybe the motherships is what it's gonna take to save the day? He doesn't have motherships yet. So, you know, let's beat him this way. Motherships and mother bombers. All right, now it's time for mother bombers. Now, we are gonna put a few ground units on the ground. Oh my god, come on. It's like he knows my thoughts. Oh, okay, big boys survive the nukes, though. Look at that. That's the key. Big, heavy, nuke surviving units. Disruption with neurotoxin. Now they're just going mad any air, so I guess now we've got to be pumping out uh, melee units that, you know, enjoy the ground cover. <laughs> we haven't had a 12th uh, worker because workers take a little while. I, I probably should have, you know, invested a little more in that. Here we go. Oh, and there's the nuke. Okay, just, yeah, the nuke pretty much ends everybody. I really, really need to build up critical mass of the Sky Queens. Otherwise, I think this battle, I think the Krieg is forlorn. But look at this. Oh, we're getting through. Please don't be melee. Dang it! It's like they know it's coming and they counter it. Oh, we got two motherships and a nuke. Man! Their skitterbugs are fast. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe just controlling the middle ground is the way to do it. Maybe. Let's see. Who's... We've... Con it seems to be about even. There's got to be a nuke coming soon. Oh, no. They've got the motherships now. There's the nukes. I've got to invest in waddle rockets. Look at this! I mean, they're just- they're just doing what I wanted to do. They're just doing more of them. So waddle rockets it is, man. AOE for the air. We need to retake the skies. And there's the nuke that will hurt them. It knocks them all over the place. And right after the nuke is when you need to pound the ground. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't think we've- I think- I don't think we can do this one. I think this challenge might be too much. We still have plenty of time, I just need to figure out what is the magic sauce. Oh, man. Waddle Rocket AoE, there's a nuke. Okay, that'll help us. That definitely helps us. I thought we had a brilliant strategy, but... They're just Mother Russia-ing us right now. Mother Russia Rush. There's the nuke. That'll help. They plan for it! After every nuke, it's just so many skitterbugs coming out. Oh, I wonder which of us has lost more units because I feel like with his nuke that nuke was closer to him more of my units survived Anti-air units. Oh look how cheap the the spewers are super cheap. What can they upgrade into? I guess those guys I want to keep them at spewers. I think honestly. This is this is just absolute absurdity everything dead <laughs> By far the most absurd challenge I've ever had. If only these guys could be faster. I love these things. They remind me of starfish. No! I just produced so many of those things. Look, how does he do it? I don't know how he does it. I'm actually surprised at how evenly matched it seems to be. Because I feel like I'm getting my butt kicked. All right, nuke went off, but advantage me. Pump out- oh my god, not advantage me. Look at this. They've got tanks now. What's the thing that beats tanks? Yeah, strong against other melee, especially tanks. All right, well then let's just keep the guys out that are- that are good at killing tanks out there. All right, let's see the big bomber try to get through. Oh, the big bomber is able to get through. That's definitely the way to go. And we need some spewers. All right, where's the big bomber? Oh, there's the big bomber. It got hit. Now they're bringing in the bombers. Don't hit my bomber. He's on his way. Oh my god, now he's pumping out bombers. Great. <laughs> Could this be going any worse? There's the nuke. We survived it. They've got tanks. I pumped out any air. They've got bombers too. They've got a very well-rounded army here. Yeah, I've got to make my units cheaper so I can pump out more bombers, I think. I think we do need quantity. We just need whatever's fast and whatever we can pump out. And now they've got these things out there. Oh my, look how many bombers I have. Ha <laughs> ha! The Air Force is here! Come on, just keep ground and pounding, boys. I think it's working. It definitely seems like it's anyone's game. But we've had more of the wormy on our side. Look at that, the bombers can't even get through because their air superiority is so superior in the air. It is absurd. So then what I'm gonna do is just pump these little guys out. Oh, well that works. You just nuked yourself. All right, we've got tanks, we got all kinds of miscreants out there. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. This is literally the longest battle. I'm gonna be surprised or maybe not surprised rather when at the end of this It's like oh this took like all right So what I did was I I downgraded a lot of my flyers just to be faster 
Just so, and cheaper. Ooh, how's this nuke gonna go? Anybody survive that? Nobody survived that. 11 years later, we are still in the battle, man. Oh, they got the freaking big bomber. One pouch down. I think what we need then is just waddle rockets. They're cheap. Really good any air. If you're gonna invest in big stuff, we just need the cheap counter. I guess this is what, like, multiplayer would feel like. Sometimes if you, if you met someone who is evenly matched to you, just this massive war of attrition. All right, we got the waddle rockets to take down their bombers. So their bombers cost 125, our waddle rockets cost 40. Definitely worth it. Oh, what's this thing? He shoots the bees from the back, right? How do you upgrade that guy again? Here we go. Quantity has quality all its own, Tovarish. We will outproduce you. He does have tanks though. All right, what are you gonna produce now? More tanks? Okay, no problem. We'll go bombers. We're going straight bombers. You're gonna invest in heavy tanks, well, I'll tell you what, the only counter to heavy tanks is a massive air force. And those things ain't good at shooting up in the air, I'll take you who what? Oh, come on, man, I just had an advantage and he nuked me. Oh, good, he nuked himself again. That's good. All right, once again, we're gonna have to invest in the water rockets. It's just like, it's constant, like, trying to reevaluate the rock, paper, scissors mechanics of this micro RTS. You know, our micro strategy game is we, we gotta figure out, like, what's the best way to counter them in the best way possible. We're the bees still on our side. This is this is just like the massive war of attrition, man. Look at this! How do I turn the tide here? Waddle rockets. Oh, and they're nuked. I want to win this one so bad. Just feels like it's impossible. Ha! <laughs> he just nuked the biggest air force he had. Alright, so we're starting to get these guys, the smart bug launchers. Maybe they can now they're not good against can't hit flying enemies, so we're gonna need a few of these little doodle buggers. Oh great, a nuke. There goes my bomber and all the guys I just invested in. And then they send the massive air force. Okay, I'm definitely glad I got these little flyers because I should take out them immediately. Go, 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 go. Don't let those bombers get in here. 40 versus 125, best trade off in history. Now what's he doing? He's literally producing nothing? Okay, he's got a nuke. Maybe he was saving up and now there's the big the onslaught. Yeah, classic. Did anyone survive that nuke? We'll have some smart bugs in the back. I'll get a doodle bug because I know he's going to bring in the Air Force at some point. Although we need to keep up the uh, infantry assault. You know what? I'm going to get a bomber. I'm going to get two bombers now. We just got to stay one step ahead of him. And honestly, I, I feel like the cheaper units has been the way to go. This could be interesting, but I feel like with one good neurotoxin or you know what? You can nuke him. Now's the time to get an Air Force because he doesn't have anything in the air. Granted, I don't have anything really in the ground. <laughs> oh, there's my bombers. And they all got new. Uh oh, I realized we messed up because that bomber's gonna get three hits in on us, on our base. So we gotta go back to waddle rockets. Yep, and now we went back to motherships and bombers. We're still somehow winning this one. These things have excellent AOE. They're really underestimated. You're, do you're doing big things in the air. That's okay. And see, here's another thing. What if there was like a, a, a Terran faction? You know what I mean? Like humans. Oh, okay, nuke it. And then my neurotoxin is negated, but oh well. Sometimes it do be like that. These waddle rockets will do okay. We just need to retake the middle ground. Oh, I actually have troops like at his front door for the first time ever. And I'm just, yeah, go ahead and nuke it, man. We're already at your base. Well, we were until you started spawning these things. I don't know who's lost more, me or him. I think probably me. Fire! Yeah, he went mass bombers. So we're doing mass waddles. Wait, where'd those bees come from? Everything they have is up in the air. And no, I don't mean it's uncertain. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Guys, I'm a little worried. I need to go ahead and adjust. This has been the hardest battle I've ever had to face. We've actually lost two guys. So I'll sp spam out a bunch of the little cheap shooters. Kill the motherships. Maybe invest in some bombers? Oh yeah, he's so close to dying. We need to put the final push on. We're going all bombers. What are you gonna pump out? What are you gonna pump out? As expected, we knew you were gonna do that. Mass ground troops right after the nuke. It always, it never fails that they're gonna pump these guys out. Joke's on you, I like losing. No, you don't. Nobody likes losing. Oh, my air forces. Come on, guys, retake the middle ground. We'll win with air forces. Look, my bombers can't even get through without getting shot down. There's just so many of them. I guess we'll have to do something about that. Little bit of neurotoxin, little bit of waddle rocketing. Watch that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. AOE, son. Oh, or nuke yourself. What a random challenge, man. This has been the weirdest one. Yeah, I, th I think we probably lost more. Oh my gosh, he nuked and that definitely hurt him. 
Look at our guys just pursuing the agenda here. They're gonna, they're gonna, oh, I guess a lot of them are gonna die. But we will invest in the Bomber Corps. You're going tanks? That's cute. I guess that's a really good counter to what I just did. So if he's doing that, then I need flyers. Because he won't have a counter to that. With the tanks. I just gotta always be a step ahead. Yeah, he hasn't done any air in a while, has he? Ah. Oh, shoot, we need Waller Rockets again. How is this man not dead? Good, good, good. Nuke yourself. Nuke yourself, please. And thank you. Look at this. I, okay, so interestingly enough, this is about to be like a Waddle Rockets paradise, and that's what we're producing. Our our guys here... Oh, well, it would have been... It would have been really interesting to see what would happen, but he just nuked it, so he spoiled all the fun, but it was... I guess it was created by the challenge, and then the challenge removed that possibility of awesomeness that was about to happen. We've just controlled the middle ground better than he has. Eee, bombs away! I swear, it's gonna take like one bomb. Ooh. Those tanks do a good job at surviving nukes. All right, guys. <laughs> I feel like I've said this a bunch where like, I wanted to just rush bombers, but now we have some tanks out, or I should have some tanks out. I guess I'm not producing any ground units. Yikes. Please. Look at how weak they are. My tanks versus their better tanks. Mine are supported by artillery and bombers, but... Uh... All right, guys, I swear this is it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, oh, Lord. Oh, no, they knew. But my big push is about to happen. I've got a few bombers up, and as long as they don't drop on units... Yeah, I see you with your big bombers, your big Betty bombers. But I've got a few bombers. Is that it? Yes! Oh my gosh. And we got three stars. Oh my gosh, how long did this? 36 minutes. And look, I was almost always behind them due to these nukes, but every now and then I got ahead. My God, how was the army? Oh my gosh. The army, those white lines are every time there was a nuke. Enemy killed 700, uh, I killed 942 units. That's insane! That was the most ridiculous battle I've ever fought. Anyway guys, thanks for watching another episode of Swarm Queen. Let me know if you'd like to see more and I'll see you guys in the next one.